Hey guys, Nukem here, and welcome to Star Wars The Acolyte Episode 2. So far, the first episode was okay. It didn't make me super excited for the series, but I want to give a couple more episodes before I kind of make the determination. I mean, it was pretty obvious that she had a, um, Oshia had a evil twin sister, May. I'm more curious at the end, like, who's that p potential Sith? That's guiding her, controlling her. And for some reason, I feel like May is going to have some redemption arc and then uh, be with her sister and switch to the good guys, the Jedi side, and they're going to overtake the Sith at the end. That's the way I'm seeing this going to play out. And then maybe Soul makes a sacrifice where he saves his Padawan, Oshia, and then Oshia becomes a new Jedi Master and or goes back to her training. But, you know, shot that Carrie Ann Moss died so quickly. So... We'll see where it goes. If you guys want to see my full reaction as well as Cookie's full reaction, uh, feel free to join the membership below. Appreciate the thumbs up, the subscribe, and let's get rolling. Hello. I'm over here. Come on. Wow. Easy access. That person that's suspicious, that person wearing a mask. He can't hear her footsteps Master or anything. Master Corbin, we have unfinished business. Attack me with she, all your strength. If she's an assassin, why doesn't she just kill him? Why does she have to let them attack or have fair fight-ish? Whoa, force barrier. So much for letting him attack first. He doesn't sense her force presence or anything? Hey, Padawan. You could try repolarizing the power couplings. You must be a pilot then. No, I'm a mechanic. Master Soul. I must protest over not restraining the prisoner. She has escaped once before. You still think she killed it, Dara? You don't. Let's say this this twin theory holds true. They could be working together. Your, don't let fear affect your judgment. He's being safe and cautious. And Soul is just being so trusting. Her name is May. She was presumed dead 16 years ago. But I believe she is responsible for Indara's mother. You just said you saw her die. A suspect matching Osha's description broke into a local Jedi temple. Where? Olega. Go investigate. Take Osha with you. She could be an asset. We're not escorting the prisoner back to... Osha is coming with us. I believe she can help. Master, Osha is not. The Jedi agree with me. Chimere? You can blend in without sampling the merchandise. Well, I had to do something while I waited. And worried. Everyone has a weakness. He's impenetrable. You're running out of Jedi. And if you think a sleeping monk is tough, good luck defeating a Wookiee. A Wookie. I have two Jedi to kill up. What he really needs... Is it drink? Only you can give him. Absolution. It wouldn't bode well for either of us if you told him about this. Of course. This death. Uh, I got this in Corpsec, and you hate it. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter what I like. Well, he is your master. I wanted to save you both. And I have made peace with what happened on Brandog. And I wasn't a very good student. Perhaps I wasn't a very good teacher. Welcome to Olega. We didn't think Coruscant would be interested in our little break-in. This crime may be connected to another open investigation. Is he gonna talk or speak to anyone yet? Oh no. Before the gatekeeper droids failed, they caught this little scandal messing about our port coast. I know why you took the Mirage Bound. You thought this life would give you the peace you seek. Did you activate the security droid? 
Who paid you to? Why is she? She had a hood on, but it was her. Why is she listening to that young Jedi paddle? Right here, right now, from me. Oh, he's awakened. Master Torben. I've been waiting for you, mate. What? Ten years of silence and you've been waiting? Forgive me. What did you do? He's gonna take it. And now he's dead and she's at the crime scene. Away from the body. I know what this looks like, but I can explain. Do not move. She didn't do it. My sights were on her the entire time. This master was dead when we arrived. Thank you, Yard. This is Bunta. Did the Jedi do something to cause a big fire in that planet? Is this the only apothecary in town? It is, but that's not our regular guy. I don't know who that guy is. Ah, uh, we secure the perimeter. Jackie stays on lookout and I will confront this imposter. Stun him, if need be. Or we skip that, and she just talks to him. Yes, since if we have a twin. Accomplice, we can send her in. That way, we have a lead on May, plus we also get a confession from him. We will follow your plan, Padawan. It's a good one. <laughs> Sorry, Yord. <clears throat> hello. Oh. Hello. Hi. Okay. Did the poison oh. work? That's it, that's all we need. Let's pull her out. Wait! Wait. You killed Torben without the poison. He's so pleased. Who's he? Go! You look exactly like her. Oh, he knows. Okay. Where's May? Hold on, hold on. We know you supplied May with the poison that killed Master Torben. We have your confession. Please don't do the memory wipe thing or... Whatever it is you guys do. Who is he? Uh, I, I, I thought he was with you. <laughs> Does May have a mask? What's going on with Dude, that girl? force persuasion him. All I know. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, this guy's I have a bad feeling about this. Crap. You'll stick to the plan. Deserve justice. You want revenge. Look what revenge has done to your sister. I couldn't save her when you were children. Let me try now. She wants to kill four Jedi. She got two Stationed already. on Brendock 16 years ago. You're next. Indara, Torben, Kelnaka, and you. Then have faith in me. Okay, there she is. I see her. It's May. She's approaching. I There's one you have I to kill. Survived. Torben? Lightsaber, she could have taken in Dar's lightsaber, man. Oh, your knife's gone. Oh, he took it. Tell me, who trained you? He's just watching. Okay. Oh, got her. Even from you, you couldn't tell me who he is, even if you wanted to. Get out of my head, Jedi. <laughs> my sister is dead! Osha is alive. Yep. Oh, she doesn't know that? He speaks the truth. <laughs> oh, got her cornered. Alright, they definitely got her trapped, right? In the name of the Galactic Sun of the Republic. She's gonna escape. And she escaped. Okay. Stunner. Oh. Oh, she. Dude. Now she thinks her sister is hostile to her. You have terrible aim, or you did that on purpose so she can escape. Oh, 
<laughs> she knows you betrayed her. The city. And go where? Kofar. What the hell is Kofar? A relaxing forest retreat in the outer rim. He's gone. Come on. Come oh on. my gosh! He just realized he's gone. Kofar. Oh. <laughs> Wait, Wookiee can you has a force? Is that a Jedi Wookiee? Okay. Alright guys. Two episodes in and I'm starting to feel like this series is Yeah. It feels like this episode I was watching a book of Bubble Bubble Fett. Where it's like where Bubble Fett is recruiting teenage biker king with slow car chase kind of feels like this it, 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 it doesn't feel very Star Warsy at all feels silly we have Jedi's can't even find a intruder in the temple or even fill the force or a master Jedi just completely ignores that he's being attacked with a force field and just takes a poison because he feels some type of guilt we we got three Jedi's or two Jedi's, one Padawan. Let someone they got trapped corner escape just through a dust storm. We got sisters finally seeing each other. Instead of them trying to talk or anything, the Oshia just shoots at his sister, either missing on purpose or her aim is just bad, but now it causes tension. And a, a, a Jedi in a Jedi temple just couldn't even tr keep a track of an alchemist he was supposed to keep track at. And now we are on Fohar, if that's the right planet. Now we have Wookiee that has is force sensitive. So this low level girl who's been trained by someone we don't even know is already taking out two Jedi masters. And it's obvious, it, it obvious we can tell she's not as good as any Jedi master in terms of combat. Because she'll, she'll only be uh, in Dara because, you know, she did something dirty. But then she's like come fight me come attack me but then she just attacks this other master jedi while in, in his uh, force bubble so what is it what is her code is, is like do they have to attack her because she obviously attacked first when she tried to break through the force field man it's it, it just feels like a silly 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 show so far and uh, it's kind of, it really hurts my heart just to see it. So I'm hoping these next episode turn around or something great happens because, oh man, it's brutal. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. I appreciate it. If you guys uh, want to see my full reaction, feel free to join the membership. Appreciate the thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you guys next one. Bye. <laughs>